So heart disease in India is responsible for about one-fourth of the mortality and morbidity in, in India. But it's different from the rest of the world. For instance, coronary disease occurs in much younger age groups as compared to the rest, even though we feel that the risk factors are the same as the rest of the world. But the disease occurs with much lower risk factors. For instance, smoking, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and diabetes, even though the risk levels are lower, the disease is much more malignant and it occurs at much younger age groups. Smoking is one of the major risk factors, but the people start smoking at the age of 10, 15, 20, the disease occurs at the age of 30. So it's not unusual for us to see a heart attack at the age of 30 years. That's one of the major problems. The other disease that we face very commonly is heart failure. Again, the disease in India is much more malignant. Patients who ad get admitted at our hospitals one third of them are likely to die in tertiary hospitals even when they get discharged. Another one third are likely to have another event or die again. And the causes that we see with heart failure are valvular heart disease, which is now very uncommon in some of the developed countries, then coronary artery disease, which is as common here, and untreated hypertension is another cause. So these are some of the differences that we see with heart disease in India as compared to the Western countries. But the disease that we see is actually the tip of the iceberg. We have to also focus on prevention. So unless we prevent the disease, it will be very difficult to treat these diseases. Thank you.